So take the example of, you know, fall prevention, which I think is, is a great example. You know, what are the areas where you think, you know, AI is already at work? If there are areas, where are the areas that you feel like, what are the types of AI, what, what are the areas in which you think AI can plug into helping you go from sort of 40 to 140 and ultimately to 140,000? It's going to be the combination of understanding our data sources um, being able to integrate technology, meaning whatever type of monitor or sensor, and then building the prescriptive analytics around mm. that. So as an example, if we think about AI on a simplistic way, and I said that it's math and not just magic, but it's really advanced math, right? It's pattern recognition and then infinity fast pattern recognition with billions of confounding variables where a really smart human can do 11 confounding variables at once and AI can do maybe almost infinity. Well, so let's, let's place a 82 year old patient in bed who has mild dementia and a stroke and they're at risk because if they get out of bed, they're going to fall and maybe the fall consequences could be worse than stroke. So if I have a human eyeball on that patient and the patient has a movement that may imply that they're trying to get out of bed, how can we use devices and algorithms to more accurately predict if a patient's movements will imply that they're going to get out of bed? So that's computer vision and digitizing movements and then developing patterns of movement that are consistent with that. What about the maybe dozens or hundreds or thousands of things in that patient's electronic health record or in other parts of that patient's uh, sort of digital footprint? that could help us predict people at risk for fall. So now we combine humans, all of the data about that patient available, maybe all at the same time, then movements that fit a pattern of fall. And all of a sudden we can do more than 14 patients at the same time. And we can probably say that patient is a significant fall risk. And instead of saying that patient's about to get out of bed, we can say that patient is going to get out of bed in the next three to four minutes, which gives right. us a lot more lead time to work with.